Hello everybody, hope that you have been doing fine. Recently, I started exploring Rhino 8 and have discovered that there are additional features been added onto the gumball. And in this video, I would like to share some of my findings regarding this area. Please note that Rhino 8 is still fairly new to me and if you notice that there are better tricks to go about doing certain things that I have uh, omitted in this video, please feel free to edit in the comment section. Okay, let's start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangular block. And use it to illustrate the new feature on the gumball. Okay, um, I'm going to create a polygon and maybe I should just bring it up so that we can see the demo better. Okay, you notice that when I move this uh, polygon curve, the construction plane moves along. That's because uh, the auto C plane has been turned on. Mm, I don't think I want to use this as moment. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off. And you notice, uh, by turning this off, the construction plane uh, reverts back to its original orientation and location. Okay, So I think we're going to leave it like that. Okay. What I'm going to do next is to project this onto here. Okay, So I'm going to select this, click the project, Select the object. Okay, then we got a projection. I don't think I will want this. I don't need this. Okay, I'm going to press the delete key. And I want to work on this. Okay, let me just remove this as well. Okay. Okay, you notice if I were to select this curve, the projector curve on the surface, on the gumball widget, there is an additional indicator. Is this horizontal line over here okay I, I don't know why is it called at the moment I guess you can call it a cut of the boss widget okay so what this does is that you can perform SketchUp like operations using it okay let me give you a demo okay if you were to um, hover over it and okay let, let me repeat this again sorry going to turn off the grid snap okay if you have to hover over it and drag the mouse cursor you'll notice that you're able to perform a cut onto that that object okay and let me do a control z and in a similar fashion right if you were to hover over it and you notice that there is another option called boss and the way to perform it is to press and hold the control key okay so what I can do is uh, by pressing and holding the control key and dragging the widget upwards you can see that we can perform like a kind of an extrusion and the good thing about this extrusion is that the newly created feature is still part of the main object okay it is not a separate piece okay so um, this is fairly useful for certain kind of work okay and let me show you some other uh, things that we can do using that widget okay so let me select this and let's go to the top view Okay, you notice that over here uh, we have the axis plane indicator and if you hover over it you can see that there is a pop-up of the various function that you can use uh, you have things like copy scale 2d okay so if I want to do a scale 2d I can press and hold the shift key and then drag Okay, using the axis plane indicator. Okay, let me do a control C. Okay, 
However, if you want to still retain the original curve and make a 2D scale version, um, what you can do is you can press and hold the ALT key and then press and hold the shift and then hover your cursor over the axis plane indicator and then you drag you notice that I'm performing a 2D scale and if I were to release the left mouse button and the key presses I will get a new scale 2D and yet I have uh, retained the original curve that's because the scale 2D has been made as a copy okay so what can we do with this okay we can perform further sketch up like operation for example now let's say I want to select this curve and then I want to select uh, this okay and we can use this widget I don't know what it's called cut boss widget okay and as per the previous um, way of operation, if you press without dragging, there is a numerical input function that comes up that you can use to like, key in some values. Okay, so let's say uh, I want to do a cut. Let's say I want to do a, a cut of um, with a depth of let's say four. I can type minus four. You need press enter, and then I get a cut like that. Yeah. So I'm going to press the control Z. Uh, if you want to do a, a boss instead, okay, what I can do is can press and hold the control key and then click on the widget again. And then maybe uh, let's 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 do outward. So I could press a positive value, okay, let's say five, enter. And you can see I have a uh, extruded region extruded with a height of 5 over here and it's still connected to the main object okay okay now uh, let's explore whether we can use it use this uh, kind of uh, sketch up like operation on more organic or double curvature kind of surfaces not I'm not too sure whether we can do it or not so uh, let's just let's just explore okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curve let's extrude this okay using the extrude function this one okay which um, already uh, has been existing in the previous versions of Rhino so I go to click on this and press and hold the shift key to do a uh, double sided extrusion okay something like that okay um let me rebuild this okay I'm gonna type the review command and rebuild to degree trees point count force okay click okay turn on the control points or press F10 to do that to select these points and drag up like that okay maybe let's extend this a bit like that okay so now let's just make this into a kind of a thickened slab okay we can do that by clicking on this extra function but by the way the extra function if you were to uh, extra a curve you get extra surface Okay, if you were to extrude a surface in this case here, you get a solid. Okay, so if I were to click on this and drag, I will get a solid. Okay, piece like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, let's just project this onto this. Okay, we got something like that. See whether we still can perform the SketchUp like function. I don't think we can do it because the indicator is not appearing 
Okay, if anybody um, who knows whether we can still perform SketchUp like kind of um, extrusion in this kind of situation, uh, please uh, leave your comments uh, below. But as far as I can see now, I don't think we can do it. Okay, so if I were to drag this, for example, I will just do the normal kind of uh, extrusion using this extrude function. Okay. So I guess um, for organic kind of work, that feature might not perform well. Okay. Mm, I think with that I come to the end of this demo, or rather sharing. Hope that you have been useful. See you around. Bye.